Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we will be using a long division for this given example. Before we perform a long division let's double check a couple of things. Both the dividend and divisors are in descending order over here and we can see that they are fine. And the next thing is see if there's any missing term in the dividend inside part of this one and of course we can see that x square term is missing so what i did is i put uh, zero time x square to make sure that this x square terms also shows up it's going to make our life a lot easier so now let's go ahead and get started with our long division process just focus on this thing, the inside, the, which is a dividend. The leading term is x power 4. I want you to write down x power 4 right up here, divided by the leading term outside, which is a divisor. Just write it right up here. When you divide it, what you're going to get? x square. I want you to write down x square on the top right up here. Now I want you to multiply this x square with all of these terms outside over here. So with all of these one on the divisor. So when you multiply x square times x square become x power 4 plus x square times 3x going to make 3x power 3 and then x square minus 5. So that's going to make minus 5 x square. So the next thing what we want to do is I want you to change the sign, switch the sign. Since this has a positive sign, positive become negative, this positive become negative, this negative become positive. That's the very first step. Now as you can see that these two terms they are gone. So what we ended up with 4x power 3 minus 3x power 3 is going to be x power 3 and this is going to become simply 5x power 2 with a plus sign. Now I want you to bring these x and minus 10 right down over here. Plus x minus 10. Now let's go ahead and start the process all over again. Look at the leading term which is x power 3. Just write it down x power 3 divided by the leading term outside with the divisor is x power 2. So when you divide you're gonna get x, isn't it? So I want you to write down x on the top right up here. And now multiply this x with all these terms of the divisor outside. So that's gonna make x power 3 plus 3x square minus 5x. Let's go ahead and change the sign. Switch the sign. So this positive become negative. This positive become negative. This negative become positive. So what happens? So these two terms are gone. So what we ended up with. So 2x square minus 3x square makes 2x square plus 6x. And now I want you to bring down this negative 10 right up here. So once again, we're going to start the process all over again. Look at this 2x squared. I want you to write down 2x squared on the top. And the outside number, this uh, leading term of the divisor, just put it down at the bottom. That's going to give you 2. I want you to write down this 2, positive 2, right up here. And now multiply this positive 2 with all of these terms outside, which is your divisor. So that's going to give us 2x squared plus 6x minus 10. So let's go ahead and change the sign once again. This positive become negative, positive become negative, negative become positive. So what do you see? This term, these two terms are gone. These are gone. These are gone. 
So we ended up with zero as a remainder. Thus our complete answer is going to be simply, since our remainder is zero, so our answer is going to be just this part over here. Just make sure. So we can write down our answer is simply x square plus x plus 2 and that is our answer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.